Hi guys, I want a happy new year. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you my new leopard gecko. yellow male leopard gecko. So this guy's super cool. He's around a year to a year and a half of age and he's a really, really cute gecko. He really has a lot of personality. It always comes up. In this enclosure, we'll be getting uh, totally revamped to a bioactive sub, uh, bioactive subterrain, a bioactive enclosure. And he should be really liking that. Uh, I have another leopard gecko. I'll put that link in the icon above if you want to meet him. And uh, I have him in a bioactive setup so you guys can get an idea on what I'm going to be doing for him. And this guy is super cool. He has a thermostat up to a ceramic heat emitter. This heating has been working really well for my leopard geckos and the bioactive substrates. They're really thriving with it. Then there's just a little LED up here. Uh, I do want to get maybe a nicer LED, but this one will work fine uh, for his enclosure. Uh, someday I could upgrade that to a nicer one, but like I said, it's working really good now. So like I said, he's doing really, really well and I love his patterning and he's overall a pretty long gecko. Uh, he's really, really cool and I'll actually get to take him out and feed him in a second. So I'm going to go get some bugs and feed him. So one thing that's really cool about this guy is he's a super good uh, feeding response. We have a cricket here. Get that in frame. Let's see if he wants it. He might be a little freaked out because my phone's here, but he'll probably take this down. And overall, he's doing really, really well in his new home. I've actually got him a few months ago and I haven't done too much handling with him. I've done a decent amount. He's a little flighty. See if he wants it. And he got it. Sorry that I know that was out of frame there. He's a super cool guy. He actually got my finger. Look at that. I actually have a little blood on my finger, so that's pretty crazy. So we're just gonna set this worm right there and show you guys him eating if you can see the worm. He actually has a really big bite which is pretty crazy for a leopard gecko. So we're just gonna drop in another worm here. I'm gonna set that one on the rock. Actually, no, we're gonna set it right there in the dirt. See if he sees it. He might not see it, but uh, yeah. So like I said, he does have a really big feeding response and uh, he's a really cool guy. So I don't know if he wants to eat a super worm today. He does prefer crickets. Actually, he probably will. Let's see, I think he's more interested in the in my finger than the superworm. Oh, okay. So yeah, like I said, he's a really cool guy. You can see his uh, full patterning there. Really, really cool. He has like a really nice looking tail, and he's a really nice yellow body. He's going back in his hide over there, and I'll take out that superworm. That one's not moving too much, so I'll take him out. And these ones are I'm just gonna let live in the substrate. And do it. He probably will climb down. Sometimes they play dead. The guest guys are a super cool guy, like I said. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, like I said, I just got him recently. I just wanted to update you guys. Or actually, uh, not update, just show you him. And show you what he's been doing. And yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys are new. Definitely go check out my other Leopard Gecko video if you didn't see him. And yeah, also leave some name suggestions for this gecko in the comments. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.